<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Sunday show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Turn, oh. Oh. <laughs> we're getting kachings in stereo. Oh, check out that timing. Oh, Anyone no, who think would awesome. set that up? I can't say what it yeah. was. Did you, did you tell me what it was? I don't know. Bear with. <laughs> oh, magic cards. Oh. Magic, magic gathering cards. Magic gathering. Got piles of them. Oof. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our son. Oh, you've said yeah, that. Yeah, I've said that. <laughs> yeah, I hope everyone's all right and had a good week. Yeah. Um, we've had a really good weekend. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Andrew went to the early boot sales with me. Usually you stay in bed. But I'm keeping my hat on because I'm, I'm all a... sweaty and horrible and my hair's oh, a mess. I don't need to know that. Oh, it's so hot. I know it's Which hot. is good. Not complaining, <laughs> honest. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, welcome, regulars. Uh, if you follow our channel, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nick and this is my wife. Andrea. Um and we are resellers. We buy and sell stuff on the internet. And that's our dog making noise. Her mom He's being now a bit sleeping of a right there. So. Okay, I won't leave him. Yeah. And every Sunday we come on and share stuff that we've picked up, which is what we're going to do today. We've, we've gone a bit crazy. We've got a lot of stuff today. So we're, we're going to share some of it with you. Yeah. And chat about what's going on. Um, yeah. There is a side chat. If you're new to this, um, if you log in on an account, you should be able to um chat and say hello if you want to join in um let's say a few hellos before we get going yeah so lucy was in first tonight hi lucy and peter uh bcp maria um karen's in and jules what? i need to scroll you know oh, scroll, scroll down so scroll. we can see who else is in <laughs> chris newton yeah chris newton elaine um lee and uh, lex is in hey Stephen. lex wow yeah. welcome Andrew everybody is in as well so and ray Stephen jones that. the luton yeah, racer ah. yeah so hi everybody and thank you for joining us tonight george melvin says hello there nick hi <laughs> okay i'm gonna get to the end hi leslie and andrea oh steve's in sparrow's end which is mel yeah Yes, uh, Belzy, all sorts of people. Okay, I'm going to try and get to the end. Ben, Jason, and welcome. Ali and Tin Can Copper Kettle Brass Pan Fernley. So please, um, who was it before? It was Pete. <laughs> Peter Ray, don't ban her. She's <laughs> bit, why? I don't know oh. what happened last time. Ben. <laughs> got got yeah. a bit loose with his ban hammer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically, we're just going to show you some stuff. Andrea's had a chance to look up some of your finds a little bit, yeah. You've found some really nice stuff, yeah. Um, some interesting Gosh, it stuff. So hot. It's so hot windows in here. Open, the windows open a little bit, we could open that a bit more, but then it's a bit noisy. Well, I don't that know, door's open, noisy. I'll open it a bit more. Oh, and I've just spent the last couple of hours clearing space in here because I've got to find homes for all of this gear, so that's why I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. Right, we'd better get into it because we've got loads Hopefully of gear. Hopefully bring a breeze. Oh, um, Daisy May says, Nick and Andrew, saw you at the car boot at lunchtime asking about a nail tape. Didn't like to... Oh, oh you should have interrupted. Yeah, we're they were too expensive. Night. We didn't buy them. I actually went yeah. back at the end of that car boot sale. Yeah. Um, if it's the sale... I think they're the only nail cassettes I looked at. Yeah. We had a load of them. And they wanted a pound each. And the cassettes, unless they're the early ones, the really early ones, aren't really worth a great yeah. deal. And so I went back at the end and offered 50p. him 50p yeah. each for yeah. 14 of them, so seven pounds worth. And she just flat said no. Yeah, well, so. if you see us again, please say hello because we'd like to meet you. Yeah, if you do see us out and about, just say hello. You know, don't have to stop and chat if you don't want to, but it's it's lovely to see you guys. Um, um when we met on we Saturday. I was just about to say that. You say then. Go. Gavin. We met Gavin, UK reseller. And he asked um, for a shout out. So cheers, Gavin. Yes. It's lovely meeting you. It was good to meet you, Gavin. Um, and I actually bought a DS game off him. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, and Gavin has a channel. Um, now, what's his channel name? I think it's Gavin, UK reseller. Gavin, UK reseller. Yeah. Um, I'll put a link below to that. Um, Gavin, some of the Gavin's early videos were specialist about yeah, corkscrews. Cork how yeah. niche is that he has you know loads of knowledge about that but now he's branched out into all sorts of stuff so yeah yes right 
Do you want to start the stuff? Because you've got some stuff right well, there. No, I'll let you start. Yeah. Me to start? Yeah. I don't know where to start. So I'll tell you where <laughs> I can start. Oh. Furbies. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one, sure. This one's... Are they all modern, actually? Because um, I had a feeling this, the two of them this, were... This wasn't today, was it? That wasn't today. This might have been last week, but we're getting... This a, was. a little collection going on. These three certainly we're, were today. We're growing a Furby family. These are all the Furby booms. Um, they have little LCD screen eyes, which tend to have some value. This is an older one. This is from a, from before. That's like a 90s one. So you can tell the difference there. Oh, it Gavin's says, there. He says, thanks, guys. Hey, mate. How you doing? So, yeah, I picked up a few Furbies. Um, I think we were paying between sort of a pound and two pounds for these, weren't we? Yeah, I, don't, I spotted them. I don't know what you pay for them in the end. I think they were a pound each, weren't they? I think I got all of these for a pound. Yeah. Well, not all three, but each. The yeah, Furbies. Yeah. Be careful, guys. If you put batteries in these things, they sit there listening and they randomly talk to you. Yeah. Don't they? In the middle of the it, night. It, well, yeah. They freak I walk out. past the office when you're not in here and something's chatting to me. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you've set. got the got the instructions I for that. Have the manual, yeah. It's nice yeah. to see it with its manual. Look at Simon. And that hairdo, check that out. <laughs> so these were what, yeah. 80s? Were they early 80s? Yeah, I think? we Was used to have date? one of the, the big ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there was a bigger version of this. 1980, Yeah. copyrighted on this one. I uh, paid a pound for that. I haven't had a chance to look it up, but I don't think there's big value in them because they were so such huge popular. This this was entertainment in our, our days. Yes. Follow the colours. <laughs> I still prefer that to any other kind of gaming. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's so retro cool. So, yeah, it should be an easy sale. Couldn't tell you what money was in that, but it's nice to pick it up. Yeah. Um, and then something more modern, but still quite a nice pickup. Same stool, wasn't it? Yeah. That guy I got chatting with. Um, he had all sorts of cool stuff. He had a Super Nintendo, but it was just the, the unit only no wires no leads and he wanted 15 just for the box and oh, was... gary picked up a furby today and it was dead Aww. oh dead furby. R. I. P. furby shame well we don't know we haven't tested these yet haven't have we tested any of them yeah. they do quite often get left with the batteries in you know the kids get bored of them and then they just leave them with the batteries mm. in so battery rot is a problem yeah. um yeah mega drive plug and play um these go okay I think they probably go a bit better at Christmas. It's a perfect sort of gift for someone my age. Um, I think I sent one into Amazon before and done pretty well at Christmas. So they're worth picking up. Pay two on that. Um, Southwest Sellers Gary is in and he says, Good evening, Andrew and Nick and chat. Cannot believe how time flies one year ago since we met you guys. Is mm. it really one year ago? Since Didn't the Depeche Mode concert. in my head at all. I guess wow. it is. Goodness. Yeah. That was a great day. It really was. It really was a good yeah. day. It was a bit. It know, was. It was chaos afterwards. Chaos I was trying to get home. But because, up until that point, it was a great day. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, um, we're big Depeche Mode fans, uh, as is Gary, and we met at the um, Olympic, Stadium. Olympic Stadium. But it was the night when there was the um, terrorist attack, the the knifing yeah, and all yeah. of that. So it was chaos getting out of London. So it's a year ago since that oh, as well. Yeah. There's been so many year anniversaries leading up to this as well, with obviously Manchester and then yeah. and Grenfell's coming up as well. It just all happened all at once, didn't it? All those crazy things. Yeah. Really, but yeah, yeah, happy memories. There, there is a but vlog that of that on memories. our channel, actually. Yes. Monty's off. Where are you going, Monty? You can't get out. Oh, he's, he's trying to squeak. Squeak. Move this way. Can you get out? There you go. He's such a doddery old man, that dog. Bless him. Yeah. He's now going to scratch the floor and try and make it comfy. Yeah, but if I put him out there, he'll bark. Yeah. So. Okay. Perfect gift for someone Nick's age. Did you take the hint, Andrea? <laughs> well, I've got my SNES Mini, which I've hardly picked up since I got that. So it's he's scratching yeah, the floor. He is. Yeah. Monty. Monty. Oh, Lex wants to know what the favourite Depeche Mode track is. Oh, it's so difficult. I know what mine is. Mine's people are people. Really? Probably walking in my shoes. Um, the whole Songs of Faith and Devotion album is a masterpiece, in my personal opinion. Um, 
Monty, stop scratching the floor. Wait. Can you stop it? Do you want to let him out? It's <laughs> <laughs> going to wind me up if it's. I've got a hard wearing carpet in here, so it doesn't have much pile, and he likes a comfy pile. <laughs> that sounds wrong. <laughs> so he scratches it to try and make it comfy and winds me up. Okay. My fave DM track would be World in My Eyes. Yeah, off Fire Later, another masterpiece album. Okay. Okay. Just can't get enough. That's when Vince Clark was uh, the songwriter, so pop yeah. stuff. Their first album was pretty much pure pop. Um, it's still a more, good song, though. More into the darker stuff, the later <laughs> stuff. Okay. It's a fun song. Right, show some of your stuff. Yeah, I've, okay. I've got stuff well, everywhere. Um, I've got the obligatory... Um, straw bag <laughs> have we sold um, any of those yet i sold one straw bag but i think i might have priced them a bit high so i might have to drop the price i have got offers on them but yeah i don't know but they're popular i like them so it was only a pound okay and what do you think what are you selling those for uh, or what the are you one that i did sell i sold for 16.99 i think i've got the others on about 20 so i might drop it a bit Cool. Well, that's still pretty so, good from a yeah. pound. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, yeah, this, this is a bit of a story. Um, you spotted these, didn't you? I was rummaging through vinyl, and I pulled out a wham. Now, if Steph's watching, um, either watching back or um, in the chat now, she'll appreciate this. Um, it's wham. <laughs> and... When I was younger, my granddad worked for CBS, so I used to have every single issue of a Wham! release that was going. But for some reason, I don't know whether my mum sold them or what happened. But the one thing that I've always regretted, and every single year when Last Christmas plays, I think about this, which is the gatefold version of the 7-inch of Last Christmas. And... Yeah really really regret getting rid of it and um <laughs> <Can't be original. laughs> picking, there's a great picture of george inside he's picking his rudolph nose on the cover <laughs> so yeah you spotted look at that picture <laughs> there's a dead rudolph oh, so yeah these are keepers aren't they they're, they're definitely keepers because it's nostalgia i don't have a record player i'd like one ellen but, has our daughter yeah. has a record player ironically like and we don't so we've got i'm your man but I was, I've actually got a little bit emotional. I was really so happy to find that gatefold version of Last Christmas. You were well enough at the boot sale, weren't bit. you? I was. It was nice, though. The lady who was selling them, they were hers from her childhood, and she was happy to let them go to someone who was going to appreciate them. Yeah, and she was saying, don't show me what it is, because I just want them back. <laughs> this reminds me of primary school. Wake me up before you go-go. Yeah. So, yeah, they were cool. Yeah, so that was a bit of a find for me, really um i've got piles of media most of it's nothing really interesting some games um some vaguely more interesting bits but i know most of you i bore with media That's, this is quite nice i don't think there's a massive amount of value in it but it's brand new sealed it ain't half hot man which was a, a sitcom from the late 70s i'm thinking did you used to watch that yeah i loved that and it was repeated throughout the 80s i yeah. think um running from 74 to 81 it says on the back oh well there you go it was it was pretty good today that you picked up because it was ain't half hot <laughs> i don't know what it was like across the country where you guys were but we were melting today so yeah i paid a pound for that complete box set i don't know how many discs is in that but that was really nice that'll go into amazon i would imagine don't yeah. know karen says that um, wham was the first group that she loved who was that karen oh okay and uh, Karen said that she watched our game with Steve and Steph and she was shouting crooked at the TV. <laughs> crooked! We just couldn't get it. Once we... we had bent in our head, we just couldn't get crooked. <laughs> I was oh. getting so frustrated with that one. <laughs> yeah. I'd have said something I... about like a, like a crooked man or something. Yeah, you know? but you can only say I one word. I know you can only say one word, but I'd have tried to get like the nursery rhyme. Oh, yeah. It's so difficult. Right, if you have no right, idea what we're right. talking about, go over to uh, Stephen Steph's channel. Just search Stephen Steph if you're not subbed and you'll find it. And probably one or two videos back, because I do videos almost every day. Yeah. You'll see us playing a game. It's a really clever game, but it's so hard. I found it really difficult. Anyway, yeah, go and check that out and give them some support on their channel. 
Um, got some GTAs, um, nothing exciting, but fantastic condition. The cool thing with these is, I think, oh, I thought it had the map. These come with a map, and it's so nice when you get the map. I'm sure that had the map in it. Oh, annoying. Oh, this one does. Yeah. Um, they have a big fold-out map. Those of you that have played them will know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I've tended to bundle these up when I get, like, Vice City, Liberty City stories, etc. Um, so that's those. They were 50 pence, I think. Nice little Lego friends. This is the thinner black box American import ones. Um, DS isn't region coded, so the American ones are absolutely fine. I think that has some good value, but I haven't had a chance to check it. Uh, that was a pound. I'm pretty sure that goes quite well. Nice one. Uh, Peter, if you're watching, great game. I'm sure Peter's played this. Dino Crisis. Uh, it's from the people that made Resident Evil. Oh, it says it on it, look. It's a Capcom, and I think it's in fab condition. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's minty fresh. Um, pay two on that. I think I've sold this at Amazon before. Uh, Minecraft PS3 is holding its value a little bit, so that's quite good. I don't think I'll go through the rest of it. Um, what do you do? Um, yeah, I've just we're going to bring up the one that sold. Of what I'm going to share next. Oh, go for it. Yeah, should yeah. I share this? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Okay, so uh, yeah, I picked up a new with tags, Cap Kidston. Um, it's a shopping bag, which is in its own little bag, a bag in a bag. And basically, it's this. It's like that. That's Cap Kidston logo, if you don't know what you're looking for. And it's all inside, it's all brand new, not been used at all, all oil cloth inside, which is really nice. And um, I paid, what did I pay for that? Two. Two pounds. And one has sold recently for 29.50. I don't know if you can see that actually. Where are you going? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> in the middle. In the, in the middle. The middle one there, oh, 29.50. 29, 29.50 for a carrier bag, essentially. For a shopper. This Kath Kidston. So Kath, quite pleased with that. Kath Kidston stuff is bonkers. Certain mugs you were telling me go for silly money because yes. they're out of print. Yeah, if they're out of print. Um, this one, if you are interested to know, is Norfolk Rose, I think. What the pattern? Yeah. Norfolk yeah. Rose. Norfolk Rose charcoal. If anybody's interested to know what that pattern is, sort of dark blue with a rose on it. Oh, Stephen Stefferin, hey, I don't know if you saw. Did you see the records? Where, are, where did you put them? Just there. Andrea, these are for, to keep. Andrea had all of these back in the 80s. I've got Wake Me Up. Uh, which one's that? Oh, Freedom. Last Christmas, seven inch gatefold. And I'm your man. Yes, you are. And <laughs> I don't know if that's Steph or Steve or both, but Andrea was saying that she got. Totally emotional at the car boot sale stood in a field finding these. Yeah. It's so really poignant. Now he's gone as well. Them. Now George is gone. It's just that much more. Yeah. Yeah. I really regretted. It's difficult, especially the last Christmas one. So that was nice to find that. Huh? <coughs> <Yeah. coughs> Excuse me. Oh. And okay. um, should I just share one more thing? Yeah, keep going. Um, in the vein of Kath Kidston, I don't know if anyone's heard of a brand called Greengate. It's um okay. it's Greengate Copenhagen, and basically it's a Danish version of Kath Kidston. If you look, if you look them up, they look like Kath Kidston. Um, yeah, quite simple, so, repetitive yeah, patterns, isn't it? Really, the designs, lots of flowers, lots of floral, and um, I just picked up because I liked it, and I didn't know anything about the brand at all. It was a pound, and I reckon I can sell it for about twenty five twenty five pounds. So, what yeah <laughs> i like it now i know no that is nice actually it's what a lovely thing. cream milk cream yeah something? milk or cream or whatever custard yeah i like, like, I that. like a bit of custard this is kath kidston isn't it yeah that's kath kidston this is andrew's mug for that, kath kidston yeah do you guys have kath any americans in do you have kath kidston is she popular over there the designer she's british isn't she yes yeah she's kirsty all sorts cousin i found that out the other day Random what amazing fact. facts you furnish us with. 
Um, um, scroll down in the chat, then we can. So keep sorry, guys. Oh, Karen says it's just muggy here, and when I yeah. say that word up north, no one knows what I mean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. it is here. It feels like we need a storm to clear the air. Um, oh, Steph is saying I have all of those. No joke. Mm. Oh, wow, that's so cool. I had everything, and I think my mum ended up selling it all. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading what people have been <laughs> saying. Um, oh, it says, how amazing there. Hi, Adrian. How are you, mate? Yeah, and Sal's guest says, Andrea, I'm not surprised. I've been on the point of selling my record collection for years, but now I think I should keep Don't them. Don't sell it. No. I had a massive jackson's collection as well yeah. and what the one thing that does actually make me quite happy is i gave most of it to a friend of mine who still treasures it so um yeah, yeah. a friend of ours who now lives in turkey we've been to stay with them in turkey actually yeah she has a collection that's just mass it's, it's rooms full of stuff you know yeah it's amazing she used to have a specially temperature controlled um locked room didn't for, she? for her whole collection because she has all things like full-size standees you know yeah. record shop displays and, and dolls down and to thousands yeah. of cds yeah. every issue worldwide it's just crazy but yeah okay let me get to the end of the chat yeah. uh, reselling with amy she says i had so many kath kidston finds and i've lost it what, what, what just... did it go sorry it jumped then didn't it <laughs> oh wow oh, oh yeah. there it is over the, the last few weeks we'll have to look out for this brand yeah i've never seen that brand before but i just i liked it because I, I was attracted to it i thought it was kath kidston to be honest mm. well I gary says it. anything copenhagen is usually good is that what that was called again yeah What's it's that? green gate copenhagen copenhagen right yeah. one to remember yeah. cool mug says herbert thank you <laughs> well thank compliment to you <laughs> Yeah, that was a secret Santa Christmas present, wasn't it? Mega Pixel. Question. A search idea for your next retro toy video. The best toy during my childhood, second only to Lego, was Big Track. Yes. Um, I've had the modern remake. They re Somebody bought the rights and started remaking it five, six years ago, didn't they? And I've had one or two of those. Um, I never had it back in the day. I, know I had friends who did. And there's like a trailer, an add-on bit you could do mm. that I think ticked up or something. Yeah. But yeah, we'll look. That, we'll, I'll try and remember next time I do one of those to look those up, see what they're going for. Uh, Karen, Kath Kidston is such a British print, I mm. think. Would be shocked if not in the States, though. Be interesting to find out yeah. if they are. Hey, Apple Juice. Oh, the dog's <laughs> what? What? found his way back. He's gone out the... <laughs> He's gone out the back door and come back in this one. Hello, mate. <laughs> he looks so tiny in that view. That's funny. He's going to come in and start scratching the floor. Do. Yeah, and he'll try and get out that door. <laughs> Just let him out and go round and round like a nutter. <laughs> oh, look, Apple Juice says, I am your youngest subscriber. I'm only 10. You may oh, well fab. be. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Apple Juice. We're starting them young on this channel. <laughs> yeah. Are you reselling? Are you having a go on eBay or just joining in with your parents? Or what's the story there? Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyone else get burnt at the car boots sale? I think I caught it quite a bit. Oh, I put a load of oh, sun there's cream a, on. There... Oh, you didn't put any sun cream on, did you? No. I put a load of it on. Oh, my God. I'm so white up there. So I'm, I've got tan lines. Cover your eyes. Ah! That was more from last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was like a family reunion at the at the boot sale, though, wasn't it? We bumped into all kinds of your family. We saw all sorts of folk today. <laughs> yeah, my auntie and various cousins and all sorts yeah. of people. It's fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do another question. Uh, hi, Ryan. It says, how do you know where the best place is to sell? How do you decide on eBay or Amazon? Basically, price. Mm. Find out what you're likely to get on either platform and go with that. Sometimes I'll send things into Amazon just for convenience sake because we do Amazon FBA, so they fulfill the orders for us. So sometimes it's better for me to send bulky, awkward stuff into Amazon because they'll deal with the picking and packing. 
Um, there's obviously fees involved with that. So Sorry, I'm just yeah, go on. reading Rob um, Krillin said, Nick, you are wearing a Yanks cap. Blasphemy. <laughs> it means nothing to me. I just like it. I have no idea what this actually stands for, to be honest. I just like the cap. It's an Adidas one. Or Adidas. I probably said that wrong now. Sorry, Krillin, if you're offended by my cap, but it's staying on. <laughs> Paul, my arms are like yours, Nick. What, skinny? <laughs> skinny and white. Okay. Um, our producer says her dad is. I'm assuming it's she, but it might not be. I don't know. I just made that assumption, but you might be a he. <coughs> my white bits are wider than Karen's. <laughs> well, <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we're learning things today, folks. Right. Oh, I'm going to share this with you. Yeah. Can I? Can, I... can you move? I don't. Oh, watch do, me put, do I need to watch get out me put my back out as I twist and lift? Oh, skills. <laughs> I think we made a video on Saturday. We didn't video today, which was nice to just relax and not worry about that. But on Saturday, we we tried to film. Andrea came with me to two early ones, and I think I filmed me negotiating this. Oh, maybe. Uh, but I haven't looked at any of the footage. I haven't had a moment. So, oh, I haven't actually looked in here. Sometimes there's a bonus. No. Um, yeah, a guy had PS1, all the cables, two pads, um, and a stack of games. Uh, it's actually got its instructions, which is quite nice. And I saw it from a distance, got quite excited. Problem is, there's 35, I think, games in here. There's a few demos and bits and bobs. I'll try and show that, like that. Trouble mm -hmm. is, they are pretty much all sports titles. Um, general rule of thumb, sports games don't hold much value. There's obviously going to be exceptions, the odd exception to that, but, for example, cricket on the PS1 is not going to hold much value at all. Formula One... And there's just about every football game you could imagine in here. FIFA 03, Premier Manager 99. So anyway, he wanted, um, he was at 30, I think he was at, and I managed to get the whole lot for 20. Was it 20? I don't know. It's in the video. I'm pretty sure I paid 20. Did I? I can't remember now. I think it's 20. It'll be in the video. 20 or maybe 25. But anyway, the point is, these games won't have hold much value. I will go through them. There might be a few. Let's kick off in here, for example. But the cases, almost all of these are, as you can see here, fantastic condition. Um, game sellers amongst us will know these are so brittle. These hinges snap off. You get cracks on them. And the cases, the, just themselves, have value. So it was worth me buying the games for that and then the console what i've been doing with ps1 is saving them till christmas and then selling them off at christmas for fairly good money i think i got 50 for one on amazon last year so i was happy to pick that up and this is so cool you don't very often find ps1 memory cards still in the little card boxes because i'm sure they started doing them in little blister packs or maybe that was ps2 hmm. No, they did. But yeah, that's that. So, right, let me put this down. Yeah. Oh. Um, Lex says, um, when is Andrea going to do another clothing video? Um, I don't know, but I'm probably going to do a haul video of some of the bits I picked up this weekend because I picked up a lot of stuff. I've just brought the highlights in. So, uh, I can't, how do you say that? Um, Havianas. Havianas. Maybe. Havianas. Something like that. Um. Yeah, I picked these up because they were tagged. Um, I pay. I paid what I, what felt like a lot of money. I paid four pounds. Um, I briefly looked up um, before we went live, and new prices are all over the place. But I should still do quite well on them because they're new and tagged, um, and it's got a little hologram thing. I'm quite safe that they're genuine. Um, yeah. So, Havanias. Yeah, I don't have know. Havianas? Havianas? Havianas, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Flip-flops, <laughs> hey. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, these you picked up for us. Are these to keep? Oh, yeah. 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 Harry Potter fans among you? Who's a Harry Potter fan? Come on. Hands <laughs> um, up. A set of coasters of all the different houses. 
Um, I picked them up mainly because Ellen is Ravenclaw and she is obsessed with it. Um, we picked up a really nice Ravenclaw mug for her and um, I didn't notice that there was like a tiny hairline crack on it. Mm. And as soon as she used it, it just, yeah, it, you can't use it. It would just fall apart. So um, yeah, I thought she'd like that coaster for her room. And I'm a Hufflepuff. You're a Hufflepuff. I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff. And which Teletubby are you? <laughs> I'm Dipsy. <laughs> and just got a t-shirt that says I'm Dipsy. Yeah. yeah, they are they are quite nice actually, aren't they? They are nice. So that's a keeper. Yeah. So if you come around for tea, you may have a Harry Potter coaster. Yeah. Carol asked a while back, um, what have, are we counting our sleeps until we go away to Florida? Sleeps? Uh, yeah, five weeks, is it? Something like that. Yeah. I haven't, haven't counted exactly how many days, but... Ellen is because she's doing her GCSEs at the moment, so she knows as soon as she's finished. Yeah, it's holiday time. <laughs> Someone was asking how we we booked it. We we probably could have done it cheaper if we'd have you know sourced the best deals for each individual part, but we did it all through Tui, or it used to be Thompson. Yeah. Um, which isn't the cheapest way to do it, but we felt safe doing it that way. And I it... like Tui. I like the customer service that you get yeah. with them. I just yeah. We, we've really had like some great them. experiences um, with them, you know, sorting out problems and mm -hmm. issues we've had when we've been on holiday. Yeah. And, you know, they're, they're good. We recommend them. Um, but it's not the cheapest way of doing it. So if money is an issue, yeah, I'm sure you could get better deals if you picked, you know, flights from here and a villa from there mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, um, can't wait now. Sal's guest is asking what clothes to find sell well at this time of the year. Um Swimming yeah. costumes. <laughs> well, I picked up. I saw a two load, swimming costumes last week. I picked up a load of like um, variations of what what do you call them harem type pants, um, palazzo pants, because um, I find they sell really well. So that I picked up a load of those this weekend. Um, I'm wearing a pair now because I really like them. <laughs> oh. And yeah, um, just yeah, things like. Um, Summary things, things that you would wear to a festival. Beach shorts. Um, yeah, summer holiday things. Billabong. Things that you find that are on trend. Just have a look at what's in the shops and, you know, see what people are after, what people are looking for, and then look out for those things secondhand. The little, I nearly bought a load today. Strangely, I still had piles of those little um, swim vests The floats yeah. in. Um, a lot of people will be going on holiday and they will want yeah. to take little swim vests, uh, like flotation yeah. aids. They sell well through the summer and all the all year round actually but yeah. we were overladen with stuff by that point so i just left them all he only wanted a pound a, a set but it was weird the guy had part i think he used to be a swim instructor or something to do because he had loads of goggles and he had loads of yeah and it was all used it was all really odd, odd wasn't it, it? Yeah. yeah anyway oh apparently it's pronounced flip-flops there you go <laughs> okay <laughs> someone else oh havana's Oh, but it's got an I and then an A and then an A yeah, or whatever. I don't, okay. know. I don't know. Oh, hey, Vinny. Managed to get a few bits. Oh. <laughs> As it, oh, we're miles behind. Managed to get a few bits this morning from the boots before I went on holiday. Ah, oh, enjoy yourself. Oh, he just sent you a, a Facebook message. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you go through everything I've got. If there's any in there you want for your collection, I'll do your deal, mate. Um, no worries. People are liking the coasters. Mrs. Carol won. Me love Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, Le Harry Potter Lex is a Slytherin. How oh. do you find out? Do you just, yeah, do you just you know? Yeah, you go on um, Pottermore. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think Margaret did a video of that, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't think I've done that. <laughs> um, lots of Harry Potter fans. Adrian was saying that he's starting his channel soon. So once that started, we'll we'll give your channel a shout out and drop as far a link as end says that she's Ravenclaw too. Oh, I'm gonna have to find out now. Yeah. <laughs> Barry says I thought Hufflepuff was a song from the eighties. <laughs> Leslie, my son who is twenty five plays competitively on a Quidditch team. Okay. And, <laughs> all right. How does that work? Okay, let me get to the end. Oh, uh, recently with Amy, she says, do you buy props for your clothing, photos, <laughs> bells? 
belts, necklaces, signs, nice hangers, etc. I have got a FM hamper and a vintage sign. I'm going to use that and start building up my props. I'm not that organized. No. You were you were scattering like Yeah, what well, with smaller things like shoes and that sort of what thing. What was it you were doing? Um, like potpourri around it? Yeah, just to make it look pretty when, when I'm taking pictures of shoes, but not clothes and stuff. I'm, I don't think my office is really set up enough to to be able to do that. Um, and no, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading all the comments. I find it fascinating. Okay. Let me quickly read that. Another question. A local charity shop has a boxed ZX Spectrum Scrabble game for £2, hidden on a top shelf for ages. Looks in great condition. Is it worth getting? eBay will give you that answer. If you go completed and sold on eBay, get a rough idea of what you think you can get for it and work from there. That's all I would do. Okay. Wow, there's so much chat. Right, we need to share stuff. Oh, there's a Quidditch world. There was a Quidditch World Cup in Texas in April. So do, do they just run around and pretend they're on brooms then? <laughs> must because, have. you know, I'm sorry to shatter your illusions, but the brooms <laughs> don't fly. How do you know they might do? <laughs> well, <laughs> OK. Well, I'll have to. There must be videos on just, YouTube. Just because you're a muggle. <laughs> I have no comeback to that. <laughs> Right. Um, oh, watch and be amazed. <laughs> I spotted this one. Hey, <laughs> do do. Apparently, it takes Nerf bullets. I haven't tried it yet. Every week, it looks like I'm shooting oh, you no. in the head. <laughs> Thumbnail time again. So yeah, I just love the mechanism of this. Oh, sips in. Now calling himself Sybil Shepherd. <laughs> Sybil Shepherd. I saw that on um, Sahir's stream. He was streaming a game earlier. But isn't that cool? I don't think there's a whole lot of value in it. I'll probably struggle to get £10 out of this, but I was always taking it home. Ready? And then it's a gun. And then it's a truck. So, yeah, how was that? Paid a pound. Um, there's boxes of toys behind me i've got a, another big bundle of um yeah octonauts but i left behind a batman imagine x imagine x set and that would have been better i should have picked that up really i know the octonauts is good oh, you went back for it but it was gone yeah so. but we had so much gear didn't we at that point so there's loads of it um some playmobil and a bunch of figures Oh, now these sometimes work. There you go. Well, apparently, you can watch Quidditch on YouTube, so we might need to do that. I said there must works. be YouTube videos. Yeah. Hey, Dave. Keeps Nick amused. I like that. I was playing that with that earlier when I was running around pretending to shoot you guys. Yeah. Right. I do like to play with your toys. I got all sorts. I mean, there's so much gear in here. Oh, a bunch of turtles figures. No, I think they're modern. I'm pretty sure that, yeah. Yeah, I think they are. They're all modern, but they'll bundle up. Hopefully, it's one of each. It looks like it. Looking at the bandana colours, I think there's every, you know, one of each at the four. So that's cool. Um, Saskia says, did you sell the Octonauts that you bought a few weeks ago? No. They are up there somewhere. <laughs> they're in your money piles. I've got so much stuff to sort out. Bunch of Duplo for a quid. Some quite nice little bits mm. in here. This is this is like the little chuck face. Oh, that's cool. I know. Look at that. Really nice. Oh, Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Man? Has it got a Spider Man? Yeah, it's certainly got a spider on it. Oh, check this out. Yeah. That's, that's um fun. that's what's it, Green Goblin, is it or something? Isn't that mm. one of Spider Man's Nemesis is, 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 is. Someone in the chat will know. Yeah, someone will know. I don't. Hang on, hang on. That's not Spider Man. No, that's not Spider Man. That's not Spider Man. <laughs> that's Spider Man's little brother. 
called Bob. Right. Um, well, Rob as in Krillin says, um, what do you think of that Alf doll on the Harley? That was a great oh, picture. Cool. I showed Andrea and Andrea yeah. was like, what? Oh, it's Alf! <laughs> Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, um, yeah, Green Goblin. Green yeah, Goblin. Yeah, said it's Green Goblin. Cheers, Vinny. Yeah, I can't see a Spider-Man in there, which is unfortunate. But hey, for a pound, I will pick up a bag of Duplo all day long. Um, I bought another... Um, uh, what's the word? Playmobil set. Another Playmobil Zoo set, uh, which is all just in a bag. It does have the manual, thank God, because they're not easy to build. Um, but this is all um oh yeah it's rock band isn't it rock band set guitar word. drum kit kick pedal the whole shebang drumsticks again still got the ps2 no so three one which is mm. in that crate to sort and list so yeah um oh there's so much gear what we got over here oh there's a let's show you this i'll just read in um um, Shazad says, United States Quidditch Association, LOL, a cross between rugby, lacrosse, and people with sticks between their legs. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to watch this on YouTube now. Yeah. Um, yeah, really nice modern board game. This is Pandemic. Um, I think they go for about 20. Um, I may keep this and that have a eBay play. Or Amazon? Either, I think. Yeah, it looks very cool. Uh, paid a pound for that. I bought all the usual suspects, really, of board games today. Um, Scenics, as a rule, I wouldn't bother with. The Disney one um, can do pretty well. I, I tend to store these up for Christmas. We saw pretty much every Scenic going today, didn't we? Oh, they were every, they're, they're everywhere across the whole country. I was tempted by the Doctor Who one, I'd say. What, just to play it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Geomag. Bought a bunch of this again. I sold some not long ago, which didn't go for a great deal. Um, can't remember what I got these for now. It wasn't a lot, was it? Was it three quid a lot? There's a bunch of Geomag. I would imagine I will bundle all of that up. It's just like little magnetic sticks and ball bearings, and you build stuff like this. There you go. Now, Polish X and um, popped in says, Hi guys, Bournemouth is watching. Ooh. The whole of Bournemouth. <laughs> wow. Are we big in Bournemouth? Um, okay. Uh, shall, I, shall I share something that I've got? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, well, I went to look at something and then I, I thought oh, I'll just move these cushions off and then noticed that they're vintage My Little Pony ones. Okay. That was the best one. This one, spot the mistake, really. You know, I think it must be like sort of just generally manufactured. And then cut the pony off, cut everything off, to be honest. All we've got is a field. <laughs> that was odd, wasn't it? <laughs> it's very weird. Were you just saying you think they're homemade? I don't think they're homemade. Oh, you I don't? Think, no, I don't think they are. Because I think if they were homemade, somebody would have no would have made sure that the pony was in the middle. It's like they purposely avoided putting any ponies on this one. <laughs> it's very odd. Whereas but that one is really cute. That one kind of works. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea of value because I haven't looked it up yet. I think they're homemade, but I don't think they are. I don't think they are. No. No. Anyway, but so they're really cute and they're vintage eighties ones. So yeah, you were yeah. buying. Did you say you were buying the chair that they yeah. were? <laughs> and, uh, and I thought I'll just move these off to have a look at the chair. Did you not bring the chair in? I didn't. No. Very cool another. wicker chair. We sold. Do you remember the wicker shelf? Yeah, a lot. Most people have seen. Um, seen that Andrew picked there. up a couple of weeks back. That sold for forty quid uh, with, shipping. with shipping. Yeah. Um. Oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah. We went wicker mad. Andrew bought yeah, those. Were sat on a wick, little wicker like kids' chair, which is really nice, and then a giant wine glass. <laughs> um this thing is epic look at I that no it's so intricate isn't it yeah it's really lovely i did i paid four pounds for that she wouldn't budge on it would she at all and that's no. fair enough oh i think are we ka-chinging oh. again now why yeah, didn't i that is um another 
Magic Gathering card. Magic cards. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're pretty sure this is vintage. Um, yeah, I don't think you find anything as well made as that these days. Yeah. So. Could be a yeah, giant microphone. I really, <laughs> I really like that. So um, I don't know what what to aim for. Probably go for about forty again. Yeah. Give it a go. Um. So it's definitely just to put a plant in. You reckon? You could oh, yeah. have like a you, spider you a, plant. Yeah, a plant pot and it goes inside there. Wicker's world. Our house is becoming <laughs> wicker. Yeah, but Wicker's you see, world. Nick really doesn't want the wicker in our house. I've managed to keep the stool and the magazine rack, but you're not keen on anything else. And I have a bit of a wicker obsession, so might as well turn it into something else. I could buy it and send it off to a good home. Yeah, I like it as, as an item. It's just really nice. I'm not looking forward to packaging this, I'll be honest. No, it's a bit big. But you can see, I mean, the hours of work that must have gone oh, into no. that. Amazing. So, yeah. But I did check with you first, didn't I? I said, is that too big? <laughs> can I buy it? <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, the chair fine. that I bought is a little, is a child's chair. So it's not like massive. But if I ever find a peacock chair, I'm keeping it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> what, made out of peacocks? It's like one of those, it looks like a peacock. So it's got big peacock stuff. Where are we going to put that? I don't know, but I'm keeping it. Um, On the wicker trend... I found a vintage wicker bag, which is really cool. Kel surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's really lovely, actually. Oh, I didn't bring in that little bag. There's a story with that. So I'll bring that in. Polishek um, says, I love uh, the unique items. I would pay £50 for that easily. Yeah, yeah, well, well, sold. Might, there you go. <laughs> I might actually list it. It's got a really nice sort of green lining, patterned lining to it. Um, um, on a slightly serious note, if there is ever ever anything that you really take a fancy to in these videos, contact us through Facebook. Um, it's happened many times. It, recently, um, Lisa bought a mug off us that we were happy to ship out to her. So just yeah. get in contact if there is anything you, you particularly want. And um, I bought this. This isn't vintage. And apparently it came from Cuba. So I bought that today because I really liked it. You're, you're making ching ching noises. I know, it's because I've got mugs in there. Oh, have I'll you shown them. them? No, not yet. I found these. I had no idea about the brand. They are um, Al Foldy. I think, yeah, Al Foldy Porcelain Hungry. Al Foldy. Al Foldy. Good old Al. <laughs> hey, Al. What are you doing tonight? My name is Al Foldy. I think it's Al Foldy. It's very small. I know, although I've got my glasses on, it's still hard to make was out. Was he who um, Paul Simon was singing about in the 80s? <laughs> you can call me Al. You can call anyway, me Al. Al they, Foldy. They were very obviously vintage 70s mugs. Yep. Um, so I took a chance on them and two different pairs are both sold for £15. So... Fifteen pound for two for the for the pair. So you'll go for something like so that. I'm yeah. I'm going to try for fifteen pound for the pair. And they were fifty p each, were they? Yeah. Yeah. I just really liked them. They're just they're quite, very bold. They're quite striking. Yeah. So that was Very seventies. See, it really worked. You've got a better eye, eye for this for stuff than me. No I'm. No. I'm not that good at spotting this sort of cool retro stuff. That's more Andrea's realm. But you rarely go far wrong on it, do you? Really. I think if you really like something and it's old, someone yeah, else will exactly. really like it. And, if, you know. and this is Disney Store. It is Winnie the Pooh. It's not so great, actually. Um, I reckon about £10 on that. Okay. So. Disney Store. But you yeah. paid more for but this it's... one, didn't you? Was that £3 or something, was it? Was it? Or was it two? Oh, no, it was, it was, it was two. two. Yeah. Oh, okay. So not the end of the world. Yeah. Well, it's still got the price on it. Oh, yeah. Eight pounds. Uh -huh. Okay. So, yeah, the vintage was better than out of those. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah. Any, more, any more mugs? Uh, no more mugs. Um, oh, oh, yes, okay. there are because... Oh, we've got stuff under here. <laughs> it seems every week now we're buying more Disney mugs. It took us ages to clear the ones we had, didn't it? Yeah. This is half of a mouse. Have you got the top <laughs> half? Oh, here we go. Top, top half. half. Top half of the mouse. <laughs> oh, that's quite freaky. That looks weird, doesn't it? It's Nemo Mouse. 
<laughs> Hello. Yeah. So yeah, this is not. This isn't Disney Store. This is just. I don't know where it came from. To be honest, but we liked it, so we got it. And that's yeah, that's a Disney Store one, but there's a lot of them on eBay. Yeah. Currently, so it's a little bit flooded. So don't know where we're going to go. Might with that be hard one. to shift. But he's cute. Very I cute. Like him. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But um, on a different note, Disney, but similar, I spotted this, which is Tasmanian Devil. And does anyone remember the Warner Brothers Studio store that used to be on Regent Street? I used to, oh, well, when I was at university, I frequented that place. I bought you that little um, Marvin the Martian. Torch. Um, yeah, that you had on your key ring for ages. Oh. And this, it doesn't exist anymore, but this is 1997 <coughs> Warner Brothers Studio Store Taz Jumper. Um, and he only wanted a pound for it. So I picked it up just to take a chance on it. But I there's need to go one... and get a drink and have a Okay. Coffee. There's one Hold that the um, is different, different Taz one, but sold for £35. I don't know can see that at the top there but 35 pounds so yeah i'm going to shoot for about 35 pounds on that i think it's really scratchy i wouldn't want to wear it but um so i might as well carry on with the things that i bought and i haven't looked these up but i picked up a pair of lk bennett shoes you can see that um quite worn soles quite worn on them um but yeah i haven't actually researched them yet so has anyone sold a pair of lk bennett shoes and can you advise maybe a price on those um the insides of them are really nice they haven't been they actually haven't been worn that much to be honest but the soles look quite worn down are you um managing it's like to get an in? obstacle course you know Oh, and I was going to ask another question as well. I took a chance on this. It's not in the best condition, but it was really cute. It does need a, quite a bit of a wipe and um, a clean-up. I tried this but on, didn't I, at the store when I was there? You tried it on? I asked the lady if it suited me. It didn't quite yeah. go over my shoulder. I noticed that that's the bit of the flowers coming off, so that might just need a bit of fabric glue on that. Okay. But, yeah, it's it says ruby on the front. You can see that. Has anyone ever seen something like that with the the ruby on it? And do you know anything about it? Because I've, I've tried to do a bit of research, but nothing's come up. Um, so if anyone knows, Carla says the soles always look awful because they're leather. Yeah. They're oh, I see. They are leather sold. Yeah, they are leather sold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Add Kate Middleton oh. as a keyword. Works well on LK Bennett. Carla said Caroline sells them for about 40 to 50 pounds. That's cool. Well, the shoes? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good tip there then. Kate Middleton is one of her okay. favourite brands. Yeah, I did know that actually. How are you doing, Carla? I, I saw, I haven't had a chance to watch it. Carla put a video out, I think, saying something like hot and flustered. <laughs> we were exactly the same today. We were flagging like crazy, oh, weren't we? It didn't help that the, the field does that. So one way you go, you're going uphill. So yeah. we're like pushing our trolleys. We, we, we got a trolley each. So we, we're happily going down the hill. And then you come back up the up the up the next aisle and it's like hard work hobbling along with we're trolleys. Like special old people. Yeah, trolleys, trolleys full of Nerf guns and, and wicker um, wine glasses. Yeah. Carla says, I'm good, thanks, Nick. I've been melting today. Yeah, absolutely. It, I'm not complaining about the weather. No. It was absolutely glorious, but... By the time we were out in the full midday sun at about like 11, 12 o'clock, yeah. it was oh, full on. Yeah, it really was. Um, oh, a few. Um, oh, this was nice. I didn't have a chance to look this up. Nice little Chima set sealed. Um, lady was there with her sons. Um, one of her sons had two of these for a birthday or Christmas. She was giving me a life story, as people do. Um, paid two on it. Not sure what I'll get back. Has a couple of figures which may well be unique to that pack. I don't know. So it should be some money in that. It may go into Amazon. Nice little Simpsons game. I do love the Simpsons specials. This is Pluto. 
had a quick look while I was there. These have some really nice little figures in, um, or little uh, tokens. Stephen Steph says it's 91 degrees where they are today. Holy moly. What do you think it was here today? I don't know. It's crusty. Well, in our terms, I reckon it was at least 30. Right. There were times when it just felt like I was burning. Well, we were burning. Yeah. So, yeah, that's nice. Again, I tend to save games like that till Christmas and then either send them up to Amazon or stick them on eBay. Yeah. Um, very nice condition, vintage Monopoly. Really nice. Usually these are battered and the boxes get wrecked and squashed. Um, so that was... I tend to... I'm quite fussy on those these days. I'll only pick them up if they're in decent condition. Hi, David M. He's just popped in. Hey, mate. How are you doing? And... I certainly didn't pay three on it. No. Good old guess who? Oh, love this, love this. How much did you pay on it? It wasn't. Did I pay one or two? Maybe. I don't. I don't even remember seeing it at price. No. But, um, I find I do have spares, but there are, are several different iterations of these cards. Um, this is the, not the original. This is like the second edition, I believe. Um, I find it's worth just opening it up and checking there's 24 of these because without all 24 of these, you pretty much can't play the game. So, and it only takes, you know, 30 seconds to just quickly check that. And then vintage ones of these are good. Again, Christmas is the time to list them because for awkward people like me who don't, you don't know what to get for Christmas, you can get a cool retro fun present. Oh. For people of our age, people of a certain age. These sounds. This isn't as nice as the first edition, is it? Not quite as well made. But yeah, very, very cool thing. So that was that. So yeah, got the instructions in there. That's nice. Karen's going. She's going to go and put her kids to bed. So bye, Karen. Thank bye, you for Karen. Us. Thanks for popping in. Uh, Lex. Just two little gins oh, today. Oh, they're, they're um, teasing her about whether she's drinking a gin. Stephen just bought a 70s Monopoly very near mint. Nice. Yeah, and then Andrea said to her, pints. And she says, yep, two pints of gin. <laughs> have you watched Lex's videos yet? <laughs> I have, actually, yeah. I haven't subbed yet. I was watching on your channel. Oh, were you? Oh, well, okay. Our channel, should I say. <laughs> yep, two pints of gin. I would be on the floor with two points of gin. <laughs> gin is not my thing, I'll be honest. Um, this was nice. I mean, you all you'll know I love my board games anyway, but board game, Harry Potter, quite sought after. We've never played that, have we? No, it's like, it's like Cluedo. Yeah, I, I think Ellen would enjoy playing that one. Yeah, well, we could try it before I mm. sell this one on. Yeah, from what I've read and from what I've looked, it looks like it's kind of a Cluedo-based thing. Um, I had a quick look while I was there again. It has a bunch of little hat tokens in <laughs> that do go missing. But you can sell these as spares. If it's an incomplete one, still pick it up because you can get fairly good money for spares on these. Just laughing at the chatter. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what are people saying now? Alex says, eek, Andrew has watched me. I better up my game now. <laughs> Don't change anything. Don't change Lex. anything. It works. Honestly. Just be you. I love it. Yeah. Um, right. So, yeah. Happy with that. We'll probably go to Amazon. Oh, my God. I don't know what else to show. Stuff everywhere. Jason says the board's ripped in half. <laughs> the board's ripped in half. Oh, my God. Till the day I die, that will haunt me. I bought loads and loads of Nerf today. And then we saw a couple of my cousins, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And little Ryan, so one of my cousin's sons, had re a really nice, um, no, what, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's Proton, the one that fires the discs. Really nice gun. I'm like, you come around here buying Nerf guns at my boot sir. Bless him. I know. But he was chuffed a bit to have that one. Um, and bumped into calvin your cousin and he's now picking up certain books that you always pick yeah, up yeah <laughs> yeah it's funny it's like a race to whoever gets them first no, it was really nice to see yeah them. it was lovely in fact it was very similar to this it might have even been this um 
that he had. So, yeah. Bumblebee says, I love Lex. Totally off her trolley in a good way. Yeah, totally. Who wants <laughs> to be normal? <laughs> exactly. Oh, now, guys, can you grab the buzzes? You'd think I'd have bought and sold um, the Buzz Lightyear toys many times because I buy and sell vintage toys. For one reason or another, I never have had these. So how do people that have bought and sold these before, I couldn't see a date on these. It's going to stare at his bum for a while now. Can you read that? It says copyright Disney. So how do I know I've got a vintage one? Because I could not see a date anywhere. He was still in here. I don't know. Probably gone out the back door. No, he's not in there. This one, one of them was working, wasn't it? Was that one working? <laughs> you made them work earlier. Uh, it, oh. In uncharted space, let's go. <laughs> I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Under the wings says, uh, "Who's that?" Orenthal. Under the wings, Nick. On some under the wings. I can't get. I can't get this one to pop his wings out either. That's a little bit busted. I don't think that's a good sign. That the, wow. the wings pop out on that one, don't they? Yeah, they do. I can't get. <laughs> I can't make this one to pop out. Under the wings. Don't know. Has he got? Oh, something? is it the this? What? The, no, the date I'm looking for. Oh, oh. there's an on off there. Oh, this is. Oh, is it an on off? This is very different, actually. Yeah. It hasn't got an on off switch. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um yeah got a couple of these i think i paid a pound each on these from what i remember so there should be money in it we'll have to have a fiddle about with i it. have seen people talking about these there, there are certain editions that are hard to find etc etc so we'll see i, I have buzz light here i come in peace yeah the, the front looks different to infinity and beyond is a secret mission in uncharted space let's go those films are timeless, aren't they? They're so good. Absolutely. So, yeah, I was happy to pick those up. Do the arms do things? Ah, oh, yes, it is. The do. battery compartment is under the wings, usually with some info. I think we're just going to have to have a fiddle about oh, it then what, later. Well, there's screws on there to get, yeah. to get in it. Have to have a look at later. I'll have a play around. There's probably a handy website somewhere that will tell me some info. Yeah. Or if I can get a day, I can just search completed. So that one's not doing anything, though. Did the I rare buzz has a utility belt. Oh, that's good info. Well, these don't have belts, do they? Yeah. This ben, one. Ben Fitzpatrick would know all about it. I am Buzz Lightyear. This one does work. Oh. I am Buzz Lightyear. How did you switch I on then? Come in peace. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. <laughs> so he says different stuff. Mm. Oh, but his laser thing's not working. So, yeah, some research to do there, but yeah, I think my yeah. two pounds is safe. Well, there you go. How are we doing for... Oh, my word, it's yeah. already nine o'clock. We need to be wrapping up soon. Well, we've shared um, some of it. Yeah, we? this we've, is we've shared. Yeah. Sort of the cream of the crop, really. Yeah, maybe. It was just a really fun day. It was nice to to have you out there the early ones with me i know <laughs> i'm suffering from lack of sleep now yeah <laughs> i never nap in the day but i've napped both today oh, we, we napped for britain when we got in <laughs> um oh daisy may said that i was holding the old one it did feel as if it was older okay yeah think away toys are the interactive ones yeah i had the um mr potato head the one that pops all his bits out they they were going for silly money, weren't he pops they? His bits out. He pops his bits out. Um, Daniel, that is crazy. I picked the exact same buzz today. Oh, isn't that freaky? Yeah. Carla says, "Yeah, you want Ben Fitzpatrick? I might drop him a message then send him some pictures. I'm sure once I get a date off them, I can just search it on eBay, and it shouldn't yeah. be too hard to find out." But one was a little bit faded, I noticed, when we had them up then. The one you had, the arms were a bit faded. A bit like me. <laughs> yes. I come in peace. Shoot to kill. Let's, let's have a buzz off, says Graham. The old Buzz Lightyears have glow-in-the-dark 
green breastplates. Andrea's holding the old yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I just said. Oh, oh, okay. First edition has Andy on his foot. Oh, like the pen Andy written on his foot. Oh, okay. That didn't happen. I didn't know that. Did no. I didn't notice that. There's an orb behind you. Mm. Quick, look. Well, it would have been gone. It's now. behind you. Oh, yeah, Gavin. Um, there it is. This is what I bought off Gavin. Oh. Ta-da! <laughs> That will go into Amazon. It's a sealed DS game. So yeah, that's cool. Um, might as well show these while I've got them. Oh, somebody had a Canon Pixmar printer, which is a printer we used to have, actually. Mm, we don't um, anymore. So I picked up some inks, about a tenner each. I paid a pound for the pair. War of the Worlds, which always seems to sell. I don't even know if we've got this, have we? We went to see the stage show of this, didn't we? Yeah, and it was good, but it was unfortunately because we it was the O2, so we were like right up and near the ceiling, weren't we? We had awful and, um, seats, and all of the sort of action went on below us, and not literally on the stage, but like they had special effects. So at one point it was almost raining, so but we could only see it from above, <laughs> so you don't get the feeling of being in it. Yeah, <laughs> and and the whole spectacle was was planned obviously for the audience at the front. And we were at the side and up in the gods. So it was like we didn't get the effect of the spaceship and any of it, really. It was like we were kind of, yeah, it just didn't work. It didn't, did it? It was but a great it, show. It was good. Marty Pello, who you will know, pop quiz. Here we come what band again. was Marty Pello in? Oh, everybody knows First that. in gets a bonus point. Monty's back. Hey, Monty. <laughs> come on, bonus point. Marty Pello. <laughs> Lead singer of famous 80s band. Everybody knows that. Wet, wet, wet. Hey. <laughs> Why is that not showing? I don't know. It's very weird. Oh, it, it's... I've got to click show on all of these wet, wet, wets. Why is that being... <laughs> I don't know. Filtered out. <laughs> yeah, wet, wet, wet. I remember them coming uh, out with um, Sweet Little Mystery. Mrs. Carol's um, off... Yeah, I mean, we are going to wrap up. Yeah, soon, we'll be so. wrapping up We're soon. We're keeping everybody from the Sunday evening, and I'm not finding out who's winning Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Wet, wet, wet. Yeah, I was going to say, I so remember them coming out with, I'm sure it was Sweet Little Mystery was their first one, wasn't it? Was, yeah. was that 87? Yeah. But it was really good because... Um, so he was leading Jay that. Jason Donovan was the um, vicar, and it wasn't Kerry Ellis in it as well. Maybe. I think it was Carrie Ellis. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a fantastic cast. It just would have been better if we were a bit lower. <laughs> Monty's trying to get through oh, now. Oh, dog. you crazy oh. dog. Oh, that wasn't Monty that night. <laughs> now he's coming this way. What are you doing? I want to, we'll get Monty and then we'll go. Pick that up for 20 pence for myself. Christine and the Queen's album. Really like the single that was off that. Wow, what was that single? Tilted. Tilted, yeah. Yeah, so looking forward to having a listen to that. I thought you were listening earlier. No, I was listening to Churches. Oh. Lee Mather, I think it was, put me onto a band called Churches with a yeah. V instead of a U, and I've been binging on their stuff. I really like Churches. I've listened to some of their stuff. And I didn't realise they're Scottish. Oh. Right, come in and you can wrap it up for us, Monty. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I don't see it. Yeah, everybody else is going. Um, Peter Ray's going. Bye bye. Um, see you later. Belsie's, no. <sighs> yeah, Belsie's going. And um, yeah, people are people are going because we're keeping them from That's the sun. That's fine. Time. Thank you so much for spending the time with us. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll be back on Tuesday uh, with Zahir for some chat. Well, I will. Yes. And, and you won't. I won't. Oh, thank you, David. David, <laughs> you are far <laughs> too generous. Chat. Thank you so thank you much, so much. Uh, for the super chat, David. Um, yeah, we're going to wrap yeah, this up. The stew's off. Everybody's Check out going. David's channel, by the way, uh, if you haven't already. You should be able to click through from the side chat. Barry is here to the bitter end. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Okay, we're going to go. Yeah, we are. Thanks for joining us and yeah, take care. Have a good week. And we'll see you soon. And see you. Have a good week. Bye.